Our next speaker is Professor Dr. Austra Avocena. Uh, her presentation is the only one in this section which does not focus on photo photography. Her presentation, however, deals also with a museum which still exists. It's the Museum of the University of Latvia. Reason for the overview of its history is the 150th anniversary of the first director of the museum, Professor Ernest Stretzbergs, and Mrs. Avocina is Associated Professor at the University of Latvia, Faculty of Education, Psychology and Art, and Guest Lecturer of the Academy of Latvia. Please come and speak to us. Good morning and good. I am so happy that I have this uh, possibility to show you uh, the one part of my research. The topic to be presented today is a part of uh, research uh, that includes the history of the Museum of University of Latvia in the context of overall museum teaching, museum teaching history, as well as studies of art history and the importance of research achievements in this field in the University of Latvia. The purpose of today's presentation is to give an insight into facts, but their evolution and context research is to be continued. If we draw to draw the parallels with today, we have to touch the dis discussion. What exactly is the museum? Is it the collection it holds or the building in which it is displayed? Last year we have experienced a noticeable transformation in the display arrangement and content of the collection and also there are many new and positive aspects. Also much has seemingly been lost and is not is not and maybe will never be in the center of the attention. If we recall, in uh, our minds, the ground floor exposition uh, of the Foreign Art Museum that was devoted uh, to ancient and antique culture, it has to be said that actually it has disappeared from our life as if it had never been there and to start discussion about the necessity of the Antiqua Art Museum in today, today's Latvia uh, would sound more than peculiar. In the context of the research theme, it is possible to claim that the liquidation of the Museum of the University of Latvia actually did not end in 1950, but in October 1st, 2010. Another also topical issue of today, uh, what is the ideal ratio of museums, educational function and heritage preservation function? In the middle of 19th century, it, is, it was uh, an established viewpoint that the antiquity culture is a sig significant element of education and uh, was self-evidence that it can be done uh, with the help of good copies. This the presence of art collection in education institutions visit to the museum in order to get acquaintance with the copies of the ancient culture originals was self-understandable until quite recent times. Even in the 50s, uh, 
of the 20th century, the, the established traditional experience of all school children just 20 years ago. Of course, in general, it was a long time ago when the ancient Greek culture valuable could be found in any school, in any school of Europa. Uh, the, uh, there was no uh, good education without getting equivalent equated mm -hmm. to them. A special hall for the sculptures of ancient Greece, uh, Greece, ancient Rome and Renaissance was also planned in the new Riga City Art Museum uh, in the beginning of uh, 20th century. In the context of this topic about the art study room, is also important to define how to name the collection of artworks in University of Latvia that was de de developed and, exist and existed for 30 years. In general, such an art room functioned exactly like a museum, except a collection usually was thematically narrowed. Uh, how, how does how does educational activity in the art room differ from the same activity in the museum? One might say that the attitude towards the exhibit is different. Exhibits are more accessible in the art room. Often it was allowed to touch them. They were close by and one could study them for the long time uh, feeling comfortably. The art room uh, held also additional resources uh, near with photos and books. The expansion of the collection in the art room was not determined by the function of preserving the cultural history, the historical heritage, but by the content of the cu curriculum education programs. Uh, that is all such possibilities are also provided by museums. 19th century, we, uh, Violet Leduc formed the Museum of Architecture in Paris, and the aim was to enable the comfortable, easy access to copies of unique cultural artifacts for the study needs, the possibility to have a close look at them, to compare them, and to combine the collection of hard copies from a vast region in the same place. And after the, after the Second World War, uh, we know that more of this, uh, uh, most of these copies is uh, um, come unique, <laughs> we can say. Uh, this is difficult to draw the context, uh, content boundaries between art room and the museum, but the presence of copies in the museum collection historically has been self-understandable. Biographically, there is a little to be mentioned about the topic. All information has, uh, that has uh, been preserved about uh, the art room of the university can be found only in primary sources, in, uh, but uh, very little and small. We have this information very little. Uh, only in archives, in uh, Latvia State History Archive, Latvia State Archive, Latvian National Art Museum Archive and Ernest Felsberg's foundation in the library of uh, University of Latvia. It, uh, uh, at, at present, it consists about uh, 480 books and 2,000 pictures and slides. A significant, a significant source are uh, Felsberg's published uh, works, articles and books mainly about the art of ancient Greece. All in all, uh, 61 entry in this bibliography, 47 of them uh, going back uh, to time in the last 10 years of his um, life, from 1980 till uh, 1928. Um, this year, when we celebrating um, jubileum, 
uh, of anniversary of uh, professor. We want to collect more uh, information when it is how it is possible and uh, hope that uh, with this way we put out some uh, light in this dark uh, side of uh, history. And uh, now I want uh, a little bit uh, show you more the documentary facts for uh, for this history. This is um, I present this at first, and this is uh, very uh, much uh, numbers here. But uh, I try to show the main what I saw as main facts. The beginning is 1920. Uh, this is the beginning together with the beginning of uh, high school in Latvia, uh, later University of Latvia. And the very interesting facts that the, on, in the 20 year, in the 1920 library of the faculty, uh, philology and philosophy has um, 5,000 volumes, big library, and uh, say that, uh, says that they don't have the newest periodicals, or what they need, and uh, in the, this uh, next uh, few years, uh, they become really uh, big money for this reason, 30,000 lots for this reason. It is very, very much, uh, till 1925, it is, uh, one and a half million rubles. Uh, in June uh, 26, we know that uh, notice that the architecture, Faculty of Archite Architecture has 8,025 books and magazines and so on. And we have uh, to the, uh, some facts about uh, activities, what uh, Felsberg held from the first day of his uh, I, uh, realization of the, this idea and uh, the first um, letter what they write and the cabinet the Universite Riga for, for uh, and will to buy uh, book, books from uh, Leipzig Verlag. Um, the, the next years is uh, in, in this slide we saw the one very important date. This is September 15, uh, 1924, uh, when, when uh, established the room of Eastern philology, named Egyptology Room until 1926, supervised by Francis Balwadis, and how, uh, how and and uh, in this collection we have 63 plaster casts, books, photos, slides. One of the uh, main, main uh, I, I, I take only some examples from this collection and one of uh, my lovest uh, uh, um, Artwork is uh, um, is uh, this um, which we see on the table for this student group, and this is the uh, Wafio cups and Mikania dagger, uh, which Felsberg uh, acquired in 1925, and we think about uh, why it is so important uh, to have uh, these cups, but not uh, these copies, not something other. <coughs> But um, maybe it is uh, take the ground from this uh, his interest in uh, in um, uh, this period of uh, the ancient period of Greek culture. We have the notice in uh, inventory journal from November 28, uh, 1925, about these four uh, things. The, and the price uh, total, what they paid for uh, these uh, things. 
After them, I am looking for uh, what uh, does it mean, these copies, and how much is these copies we have in, in Word, and uh, it is a very hard question to find some information about it. Uh, while uh, the, my, my last, uh, last notice is, uh, was uh, come from Wittenbergische Metallwarenfabrik, in uh, which uh, they made these copies uh, in the 20s. Uh, the signature uh, uh, in the bottom of these cups uh, says that uh, this is the Athens copy of Gilleron, and uh, it is, of course, uh, exact, but this uh, is the only means that uh, copies, this uh, electrotype copies, reproductions, they make from Gillian copies. And the second uh, fact, what is very interesting, that we have uh, two uh, exhibitions, one in 2011 in Metropolitan Museum about Gillian and his copies, and the second one in the 2014 in, uh, sorry, in, um, Archaeological Museum in uh, nearby Paris, it's not too wide from Paris, and uh, in uh, Metropolitan Museum they try to make, uh, with this te art technique, make the newest copy and uh, gilt with, uh, with, uh, with golden play, that is, uh, and uh, this how, and in this, of course, we have big interest too. And in our museum, we have these uh, copies now, which we see on the table for, for these uh, students, approximately uh, 1927 year, but, uh, but uh, not exactly. Uh, and the next one, very, very important date, is the September 8, uh, 1925, when Ernest Felsbergs uh, submit a project about establishing a separate art department as a faculty of philology and philosophy. It is not accepted, but, uh, but um, the idea uh, grow up and uh, we saw uh, later what it is. After, in, in, the, in this slide we have the, we saw the home page of the uh, library of Latvian University and in this uh, library we have the electronic copies of all of uh, Helsberg's works, books, uh, titles, articles, all of the uh, collection of uh, photos and others. Um, other, other situation um, uh, comes after the death of uh, Felsbergs, and um, the first idea is uh, that we need, we need, as, as the professor says, we need uh, to compare and to close uh, and to make all collections together, and uh, this is uh, come, this, they make it, uh, in um, the next few years, and in 1930, Faculty of Theology, um, uh, theology uh, proposed establishing a general cultural history historical museum at University of Latvia, and uh, want to to work with these um, copies, originals, books, uh, pictures. Uh, in these uh, rooms, which uh, from uh, 1925 in uh, Basnica Street, uh, when the university buy this uh, house. Uh, from uh, this time, we have one photo. Uh, we have there, there, we have very little photos, and uh, all, yeah, every photo is uh, like gold. Uh, for uh, this research, and this is one of them. This is the Eastern uh, Room of Eastern Philology. We saw the how how does it look like? 
Uh, based on the decision of the Faculty of Philo Philology and Philosophy meeting on April 28, uh, 1937, the Art Room and Eastern Philology Room were united and present at Museum of University of Latvia was, was established. It is situated in Basnit Street 5, flat 15. And in photo we see that Francis Paolo was his, his, his students in 1940. This is very only the like a shadow about this situation. The next step, the April 28, when the Art Museum of University of Latvia was established, it was situated in this. Boris Wippers is elected to be the director of the museum on, and to administrate in collaboration with Francis Balodis and, and uh, Eric Steele, Peter Zitzans is a junior assistant in this time. June 30 till 70, 1940, Peter Zitzans goes to Liepa to receive, receive ancient culture objects of Egypt, Greece and Rome from Liepa Antiquity Union, which the Minister of Public Affairs has allocated to university. This is a significant three-stage papers, but only one small part of all of this what in this year's making art history, exactly in um, ancient art of Egypt, Greece, and Rome. And one of uh, one of these research works, Olga Rudowska, Antiques at the Torsh Elgov's Museum, the Torsh of Antiquaries in Elgov Museum, is a main what I take as a second example for this, uh, what in uh, like University of Latvia we've done in these years. And this is a um, marble torso, which uh, stayed till 1940 in uh, Kurland Provincial Museum. And after, uh, from, uh, from 40 to uh, University Art Room, in University of Art Room and from 1950 in Foreign Art Museum. And the importance of this um, artwork, we saw in fact that in 1930, University of Latvia Art Room ordered a copy which was made by Carlos Zemdega. Now, uh, this uh, unique stay in the library reading room of the Art Museum Riga Birja. And the next years uh, show us uh, the many facts of uh, kind how politicals make the end of some things in our culture. 1955, 879 art units are taken over for permanent storage in the Museum of Foreign Art. Here is some documents about it. Process with, which begins in 1950. Uh, and uh, in 20, July 28, 1950, uh, we have the documents that says that uh, three 350 ancient Egypt art objects, including 187 originals and 302 ancient Greek art objects, including 188 originals among the terracotta vessels and marble torsos. In the newest catalogue of ancient Egypt by the Art Museum Riga Birja, the museum informs that nowadays it collects contains 157 units from the collection of the University of Latvia. And then more some documents about this. Uh, the next step, how these uh, parts of uh, things display in uh, museum collection for public. 
and my time is complained and I want only uh, say you thank you for your attention.